have you ever asked people how it is to live in the real ghetto or in a place where police is a threat to society and corruption is shown by authority? In Mexico, the country is corrupt by police and government. Brutality is shown a lot through the police. The police is shown, shown this by taking these students away and somehow they all disappeared with no trace at all. They then were announced dead because they found some parts of their bodies and people knew the rest were dead because nothing else was found in them. The police is corrupt because they help drug dealers and gangsters do what they want to do for an amount of money like a mouth of vessels. The human right that is violated in Mexico is police brutality in Mexico, arrest for no reason, or police being corrupt. Police brutality in Mexico is shown in this breaking article that in, in the quote, no one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. This right is valued the last of cost when economy for no reason or arrested for no reason. This right has been violated in 2015 when the police decided to arrest students who were marching and later they killed them. The families of the students and society around it is impacted due to the corruption of the police. In the years of 2000 to 2015, police brutality has been shown a lie in the country of Mexico. To violate the human rights law shown in break breaking Article 9, no one should be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. They broke the human right recently in 2015 due to the case of 43 missing students. This connects to police brutality for arresting them for marching, for marching and killing them for expressing public health. In this quote from the article, Mexico officially declares missing students dead. They talk about how they think the police killed them after they arrested them. Yet he went in the quote. Yet he went beyond hints that the students have been killed to declare that after an exhaustive, exhaustive, serious investigation, the evidence allows us to determine that the students were kidnapped, killed, burned, and thrown down into the river. I think the police burned them too and thrown them to the river to get rid of evidence that they were the ones that killed them. Police brutality is also shown when police arrest you for no reason. It also breaks the human right breaking. Article 9. In this quote from the article, 15 Mexican police arrested for kidnap extortion. We talk about how the police arrested a person and kidnapped them and did extortion. The Mexican official says troops have detained 15 federal police officers for allegedly kidnapping the owner of the construction company in the northern border city of Montamero, demanding 2 million, 31 million pesos. The police probably arrested the per persons as an excuse to kidnap him later to get money. Mexico has tried to stop police corruption by making a document to have a suspect up to 80 days. In this quote from the article in Mexico, it shows how to stop corruption from happening. They detain a person up to 80 days so cops wouldn't be. So cops wouldn't let them go with money. The reform also introduced the provision of Ariago, which also prosecutors with judicial organization uh, to both organized crime suspects up to 80 days before there they are charged with a crime. I think it's a good uh, idea to keep organized crime suspects up to 80 days. In that way, cops wouldn't be able to get by. Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, wants to make the police and let them into one police force instead of being separated by states. He wants to make it in hope of no more police corruption. In this quote from the article, Can Reforms Change Mexico Corrupt Police Culture? It talks about the idea of making one police force that will lower or end police corruption. But the decision to move it toward a mando unico or single police command, command is coming under security in a country where corruption has been found at all levels of the police. I feel like it's better for the police to be one than they're being separated and there will be less corruption. This right has gotten worse because police has gotten more violent and use violent tactics to arrest citizens in Mexico. In the article, Mexico police over how may not curtail violence. It talks about how the right gotten worse because of the police brutality and the corruption and how they want to improve the police. The proposal which Peña Nieto introduced to Congress on December 2 will radically reshape the structure of policing in Mexico, dismantling municipal police force and replacing them with 32 state police corps.
It's a move designed to show action against corruption on local level. Tragically illustri illustrated by a Guala police officer who, who dutifully handed over the students to organize crimes at the command of the mayor. In this quote, it says, I feel that it's better for one unit of the police being leaded by one order so it wouldn't be so corrupted. The right has gotten worse also by the police corruption and rise by drug dealers. In the article, Mexico got feds pay corrupt cops a hundred million dollars a month. It talks about how Mexican drug cartels bribe police in Mexico. Mexico, uh, Mexican authorities said that from the drug trafficking gangs pay around 1.27 billion pesos, some 100 million a month, in bribes to municipal police officers nationwide. This shows how police corruption has spread in Mexico. Police in Mexico show should have cameras on their shirt so people can see what they are doing and see if they are telling the truth or actually doing their jobs. In this quote, it shows how police from Mexico want to have cameras on their body so corruption will stop. Mexico cops have gotten a bad reputation. They are no more for taking bribes than fighting crime. One police department in Mexico, um, one police department in Mexico hopes that body cameras, a high tech tool gaining popularity in the U.S. will redeem its reputation. The police chief in the border city of Tijuana says that this will show that it's not just the bad cops that are the problem. The public plays a big role in corruption too. The police in Mexico and Tijuana is starting to use cam cameras so corruption wouldn't be a problem for cops. They have a bad, rep they have a bad reputation for corruption and cops want to change that by using body cameras while doing their jobs. I think by doing this, they will show that they are not taking bribes from criminals and people will trust the police bit by bit and corruption will start to disappear. Another way to stop corruption is by making the police force into one. By making the police into one, there will be less corruption because of a bunch of cops who wouldn't be corrupt will see if some cops will be bribed or doing bad decisions in their jobs. And this quote from the article, how many Mexican presidents plan to, how many, how Mexico's president plan to fix corruption is talking about making one police force into making all police force into one to end corruption and brutality due to the issue of 43 missing students. The proposal, which Peña Nieto introduced to Congress on December 2, will radically shape, reshape the structure of police policing in Mexico, dismantling the municipal police force and replacing them with 32 state police force. I think if all police forces used in one, there would be less corruption due to cops who are corrupt seeing this happening.